Well, good one. No, really. Really. <laughs> Wait a minute. Put the hat on. I want to see the hat. Oh, I love you. Sure. You can take it anywhere. Okay, that does it. I like that. Okay. That's a tool. Yeah. I love hats. With one L or two. Can, I can hide well, my uh, hairdo. No hairdo. <laughs> yeah, he plays the piano, and I... Uh, Okay. Play along. <laughs> She's real pretty in terror. Great, good. Oh my gosh. He's good on it. He's good on the <laughs> piano. Hey, then you quiet. Can we let her run around and no. close the fence? And then I sing along. Run off. Yeah. 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 Every time I sing along, I get physically sick. Right, close the door. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Let her just bummer. She'd love it. She every time. She every time you read. Ah, every time I get in there, practicing, I, I get physically <laughs> sick. It's the same problem, isn't it? Yep. Oh, we're right? discussing that. Uh, yeah, it's the, the very eye. same problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, oh. but when no. we get to a point in what we love, yeah. and we want to master the thing, then a state of mind comes in. Conflict. Disguise. Conflict. It's a yes. greed and desires. Achieving and acquiring and all that comes. Yeah. So your, your subconscious mind runs, runs and runs and runs as programmed yes. or something. Okay. <laughs> I, you know, like I, I have been so afraid to say yeah. that I really enjoy singing exactly. because that would mean that I would be challenging my parents. Statement. Yeah, you but you carry a tune in your back pocket. Isn't it, isn't it curious <laughs> that there's even a possibility? <laughs> even though that's true, in what way are you challenging your parents? There you go. Huh? Long body, not looks like a hot dog dog. Oh, in what way? Well, the biggest, the biggest fear or. <laughs> She'll settle down after a few minutes, I think, right? Yeah, probably. Sorry, yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so be chasing things around. Is that door closed? Uh, the gate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hear no, I meant the, yeah, Dave yeah. closed. The slide glass? Well, if I hear jingling going that way, I'll be chasing her. The sl sliding glass yeah, door. Yeah, I got you. Well, all those curtains are open over there. Yeah, but the door is closed, so she can't go in. She, if she chooses to go in, which she's going to do. Oh, she won't get out. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Why do you ask it that way? Yeah. Oh. Got caught it. In what way do we challenge our parents? Uh -huh. In what way? In what way do we challenge them? And that doing the... Well, you know, you all the standard midwifery pathologos answers we can give you, but somehow. Uh, yeah. Yo. Well, every time he would one? hear me, he would say, Well, you carry a tune like I do in my back pocket. <coughs> Which means that you're Pick farting the all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty hard to break in my psyche. Not hard. It isn't? Go ahead. Say it again. It's pretty hard to break. It's pretty hard to break that or see through that. What does that mean? Well, I believe them. I, whenever I practice, I believe them. And I'm terrified and all that. Yes. Talking about voice? I don't even, yeah. And I don't even think that saying I like something would be something I could do. Especially if it's it'd be like saying you like farts. See, there's one farts. thing you know. Farts. That that way of understanding is superficial. Because it doesn't do any good. Oh, true. Right? No good. That's the key. But to see that point, 
one has to, to recognize... say all of that yeah. still doesn't do anything. Therefore, yeah. it's superficial. Or reason can play no role no, no, in this okay. kind of a problem. Wow. Okay. But question comes. Question comes. Maybe there's areas where reason doesn't work. Okay, question comes. The desires and all that things that it goes on in our mind, you know, as we work ourselves like uh, technically and we want to become chair maker, then we have to learn how to make chair and all that all the stuff comes on. When do we and because if you don't have that desire willing to learn to make chair, willing to learn to play piano, you know, and that, we will never learn anything, right? What blocks the desire? Like Regina and Jeff, they have the desire. Right. Why isn't that enough? Hiya. <laughs> Whose song is that? Is huh? that yours? Just. She's cute. <clears throat> More. She. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> I like but I like this place. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> she likes people who pet her. <laughs> That's what I meant. I like this place. They, they bred anyway. those to go into the holes and get the what was it? Bad? The Germans right in the hole? Rabbits, foxes, bears, lions. Do they really go in the hole? So, how would you, how would you explore? What's up? Where reason doesn't go? Is this a kind of problem where reason may not function? <laughs> there he is. Why isn't desire, what is that, uh, arrows or epithumus? Why isn't that enough, right? <clears throat> so, um, <laughs> see, the question is whether or not the the state of mind you experience when you're playing the piano <laughs> yes. and you realize you are at this point. It's like, is this me? <laughs> what does it do to you? That means the last time. Describe it. I can see myself playing in a band. I could see myself recording. All these images came up. And you know what's funny is, just as a footnote, my father said something to me recently. Thank you. Okay. Which he's never said to me all my life. Now he's in his, he's pushing 90 himself. Oh, thank you. He said, I always wanted for one of my kids to learn piano well enough to play in a band and enjoy themselves. Well, that's funny because that's precisely, you know, go ahead, go for a big one. the problem I'm having. And I instantly, as I'm sitting that, that last time at the piano, I'm doing so well at it and I'm enjoying the sounds that are coming out of it, spontaneously coming out of this, <coughs> this keyboard at, at my hands and the joy that it's just all happening at once, and I'm thinking, well, you keep on this path, you're gonna do that. You're gonna, you're gonna be in a band, you're gonna record, you're gonna do whatever you want with it. Uh, that's it. Hold it. It's gonna be like, no, no. Oh, no way that's outside it. my no, 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 no. self-image. 
that's the state of mind. What is it now? At that moment, you know. I'm not in the sandbox anymore. I'm, I'm not in that family. No, that's choosing a metaphor. Stay with the state of mind. Uh, I know. <clears throat> what words can be put on that? To try another way. You know that the state of mind we're talking about, you're having trouble putting names on it. Well, I can put names on it, but the names, I mean, I want to say joy, rapture, um, competence, even expertise. You got those? Creativity, say. pleasure, party. Uh, by the way, is it not likely that you experienced that same state when you were a kid in front of your parents? The first thing that comes to mind, mm -hmm. I would really love to go back and Is it possible that you can recall when you were in that same state of mind as a kid? Because every kid gets in that state of mind sooner or later. It's called play. Thank you. When they saw you really enjoying your play, whatever it was, what happened? Uh, don't worry about it. Just to talk about it's it. It's not a scene. It's uh, more of an idea. <clears throat> Me in the backyard with... It, it's, it's fuzzy. Like, I don't even know if it really happened. But just something about me, my red tricycle, and the words, come in the house now. Um, what did you see then at that moment? the way they related to you when you were in that state. My own surprise and disappointment. Pardon me? My own surprise and disappointment. Um, but are you asking what I saw about her, about them? She were interested in knowing what effect it had on them. Come in the house now. It was this. It was this uh, flat. Hey, that's rather important, isn't it? That they greeted your very positive state of mind, flat. What does that mean? You're out of line. What? You're out of line. I'm out of line. You're out of line. You mean... <coughs> we don't do that. You, we don't do that. You saw the wall. Right? No punishment, no violence. But they let you know that that is the line you do not cross over. <coughs> so what you're now doing is you're back at that same point. And now you have to see if you have the courage to go to finish it. Uh, go outside the wall. 
to burrow through that wall that they that you saw they feared that they held them so themselves back their whole life from that state of mind yeah. hey and they think they were were they were rewarded by it by not getting into that I was rewarded I was rewarded in, in a way I'm yeah. now in a jail but I now have the status that my sisters don't have. <clears throat> and academia is the same way, right? Stay within the lines, we'll give you a paycheck. See, you saw at that moment their fear of freedom. That's it, in that is... Right? That's it. You saw it. And if it was that fearsome... Freedom is the good word, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that your author? Uh, that's ancient, man. That's ancient. <coughs> now you're one of them. You're willing to stay behind that line and exist. Ah... Good. <laughs> right? Good. <laughs> right? You're now one of us. Right, right. Now, now, hey, now you need courage. You never needed it before. Yep. Right? A new kind of courage. Kind of yes, it's not the old kind. And what's odd about it is <clears throat> that nobody in this world, outside this group, no one can sees help that. you. Nobody's, no one can help nobody you. Can help You're you. totally nobody on your it. own, <laughs> right? <laughs> Win or lose, win or lose, you're the only one who's going to suffer or be victorious. It's not worth it. Or it is. Well, the, part of the problem is that the way that people react to, to excellence or no, to a move towards no, excellence no. is... Really no, no, it's their way of reacting yeah. to excellence, not because, you know what? They don't give a damn about the whole world. The hell with them all. That has something to do with that courage. The hell with them all. <laughs> You're going to be what you want to be and let the chips fall where they may. Easy way to live, right? And that means you're stepping outside of the family. And it feels like I'm on the slickest ice I've ever been. <laughs> no, no. And yet. No, no, wait a minute. No, no. That's their ice, right. not yours. Right. Mm. Right. The other part of They it, gave you the sense that you're skating on you're thin ice. You're skating on ice, bud. Yeah, Bad you're, ice. You're way close. ice. Like you are out in the middle of Lake Erie somewhere so far now. But the other half is... Yeah, the other half is the hell with them. This is great out in the middle of Lake Erie. Yeah. 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 So you made the decision, you see. And now you want to see what it's like to pick up where you stopped. Yeah. It's not just one, is it? It's really a series of... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. See, no matter what you did, doesn't matter. Because you were blocked at that point. So you have to go back, as it were, to where you were at how old? And pick it up from there. And that's always been available. A step away. It's <laughs> okay. It's like homework that's been waiting for 50 years. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> How you there, puppy, puppy, puppy? How you doing? <laughs> he says, we don't have problems. Just give me a bone. Shut up. Uh -huh. But give me a pet, too. Play. Freedom. Yep. Why do you call it homework? You said it's homework that it took 50 years to do. Push on it. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, spiritual homework, right? Like, the problem is still there. It's been waiting for 50 years to, to pick it up again and, and move forward at any time I wanted. But it seems like 50 years have gone by so quickly, and yet there it still is. I was is. just wondering if you could find another name for it besides homework. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Having been a high school teacher for 28 years, hmm. I know what homework sounds like. Can you offer one? And can you relate? You can relate, right? We all can relate. Day, growth, a new challenge, an old challenge. Hey, okay. I don't know. Sometimes I think of it as a bookmark, a spiritual bookmark. Close the book. You can pick up anytime you want. Open it back up. Okay. Yeah, I just thought it's not a great. Yeah. yeah. Better word for it. No, if homework it's, it's, works, uh, and it doesn't uh, make it more difficult, then I say yeah. Uh, it doesn't make it more difficult. That was my concern. See, it, 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 is the price exile? From that oneself. Time? Exile from the self. Yes. It's been a huge price. Because when you saw that wall, to continue would have been exile. Yeah. And that's too high a price when you're a kid. Yeah. Right? Your existence depends upon them. And presumably, they care. Yeah. Yeah. So you trade, you make a trade. But trade. <laughs> now that you look at it, that trade, you lost wasn't a very good trade. <clears throat> What's amazing is how they themselves have been trapped by it. And how the words they use make it seem as if they want me to excel. And they want all of us to, they want themselves, they want all the kids. Um, but even in action to this day, when it really comes down to it, in play, or seeing, understanding, or um, uh, in, at least in my family, uh, having meaningful social relationships. No. Any of those threaten it. No, that, they all threaten. Absolutely. You see, let me put it. Let me ask you a question. Despite what's said. If the problem is being in a state of mind you can call play, what is play? Why is it so fearful? What is play? Thank you. What is that thing? What is that thing? <laughs> Why do all kids and all people want to play? Because I saw my parents 
doing medicine at the hospital. And it never looked like play. That's right. Then they can do it. Then it's allowed. Expertise without play is allowed. They don't want expertise and play to coincide. So what's play? Am I allowed to ask uh, for a little help? In either I don't know. I don't know who will help you. <laughs> now, Julia is often a good person. Hey. Good well, morning. What is play? I don't know what it is, but I can tell you that I've heard that in the in Sweden, you need to have a master's In playing the piano, did you reach play. the same state? <laughs> Before you can get a teaching credential. Huh? Did you reach the same state with piano playing? You know, I just missed his description of the state. But I had some of the same visions of like playing with a group and... Have you gotten to that place at the keyboard uh, occasionally or ever where you see yourself... Occasionally, yeah. Um, transcending as you've gone further than you've ever gone before and it surprised you yeah what else what was well I I, I uh, yeah I, the... I would um, those would be daunting moments and I would pull myself back and stay away from the piano for a while do you remember um just as I do with everything else I excel at, like when I do yoga and I achieve some great accomplishment, then I, it, same thing, it's daunting, I pull back and I stop. And the words, any words that come to mind or visions or? Um, yeah, it's kind of like my mother saying, um, you know, like, who do you think you are getting so good? Who do like, you think you are? <laughs> Yeah, like that's supposed to be some other kind of person who can do that and go there. I'm supposed to just want it and hold it out as a possibility because I'm the one with great potential. <laughs> right. So I've got to keep it. So we could go down the same path with you that Pierre did with me about where does that go? Or we could explore Pierre's question, which is... Uh, uh, just before that, when you're in that, what is that? What is play? What, what, what is, is play? Yeah. I think it's being totally empty of... That's any, what? Totally empty of any ideas of what you think you should be doing. Then what is play? <laughs> That's what it's not, right? It's That's just right. when you're... Negative ain't going to help you. Work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good. I well, like it's that. just being spontaneous. He's happy with that. I don't think he's happy with that either. Spontaneous. <laughs> it's being spontaneous. Yeah. Too many syllables, I know. <laughs> Spont. <laughs> See, it comes down to... With that last part. Uh, how do you know whether or not a question has been answered? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Does that answer why there's a universal war against that state? That's a great question, actually. Spontaneity. It's the yeah, self that, that the does it. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. It's the, I don't know if you, it's, yeah, that, that's. That's it, right, Jeff? Well, see, I don't okay. think you could say it's full. There's a universal war. You know, say I watch this game baseball, and those dudes out there are spontaneous, act they're the best at what they're doing. They look like they're having fun. So I might say not only are they excellent at it, but they're they seem to be. I mean, the guys are smiling and like having fun. So not everybody's banned from playing at excellence. Just most of. That's them right. Are. 
most of us are. If you don't get a big paycheck, then I think you're bad from it. Yeah. <laughs> Many people who so-called play are just being energetic and bored. Whoa. Except for baseball players, right? No. I'm sure there's right? other sports They're out, out there. there, and they're waiting for a ball to come so they can throw it. <laughs> They don't look bored to me. Right. And the only two guys throwing the ball are the pitcher and the catcher, and everyone else is bored to tears. Well, that's how I see a baseball, too. Right. Or but that's one, one guy is so much better than the rest that no one wants to play. Who the hell wants to play with a guy who's so good? <laughs> right. Argue. Is it Vince Scully? Is that his name? The voice of the Dodgers? Oh, that's Dodgers. I'm an Angels guy, but uh, you don't... I know who he is, but no, I well, someone was just telling me this can't week. watch it all, man. There's I can't even watch all my own team, there's too much of it. You know, I got other things to do. Well, but... he should be an expert in play. He watches all these teams play. I don't watch them all, I said <laughs> oh. I watch some of it. Oh, oh. But I, I thought, or I could have gone with paintball. That was what I used to. <laughs> yeah, but what do you make of Pierre's? I I liked it. I I started off with the. We used to go with this question of what is it to truly practice. It meant that you've already done the hard stuff and you're now good at what you do. So we could use Jeff's parents in that example of uh, their excellence being doctors. So they were good at it. They weren't having to think about what they're doing. But there's a different level of if you want to say. Somebody can function on that level, but it's different than playing as well, like having fun with it. I would make a distinction there that uh, that's where I brought up the baseball player. You know, these guys are the best at what they do, but they they look like they're having fun. Yeah. Uh, as where Jeb was saying, his doctor parents, yeah. they were the best at what they did, but they yeah. weren't having fun with it. Yeah. No matter how the the players play, you want to see and hope they're in a state to play. Right. And you'll pay a hell of a lot of money to watch excellence at play. Well, I'll pay right? some money, but not a hell of a lot. Right. Everyone <laughs> plays all kinds of money <laughs> in so order sad. to see a guy with excellence playing on the piano, basketball, uh -huh. yeah. medicine, art, sculpting, anything. And they want to get up close, <laughs> right? They want to get up in the right, and they want to watch it, right? Yeah. What are they doing? What is play? What is There's that? nothing more interesting to people than, hey, I remember, hey, I remember, hey, remember when you know did you know? Well, yeah, I do too. Yeah, that was something. Yeah, it's memorable, isn't it? What are you watching? Spontaneity. Spirit. How much would you pay to play to see someone play the way you want to play tonight? Where? How far would you drive? Hmm. That's a good question. Hey, you played the game of meditation. Yeah. How far will you drive to 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 see a true master of that game? Exhibit you know, I don't excellence. Think, I don't think it uh, turns. What? What? <laughs> I don't think it turns. I would go as far as I had to. Say it again. I would go as far as I had to. And pay what? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever the hell it is. Yeah. I don't right. Think, yeah. <laughs> Just to see someone play. What the hell is play? <laughs> play is excellence in some activity where you've reached the point where you don't have to worry about how to do it anymore. Right, all your right? options are open, and you can be mindful. Agree? You don't have to worry about what to do. No. You've mastered it. Yeah. You can be spontaneous. Yeah. Then what have you? How, how much do you pay? Right? So what is it that we're willing to do? Look, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's hoping to get a little change. I'm not looking for... <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't every religion compete with that performance? 
They want their yeah. people to come and watch their performance. Right. Don't they? They want yeah, people yeah. to pour money and to dedicate their lives to what they see <coughs> when it's play in religion. What the hell is what is play then? Well, Wherever it is. Like a of the, hey, no, Seon. Remember Seon? I do. Yeah, he was that guy who got into to tennis, did he not? Mm -hmm. He did. Hey, Seon? <laughs> yes. How much do you play to see Serrano Williams? Uh, how much would I pay? Well, I'm a uh, would you be interested in it? Uh, yes. So Why? Well, I've seen them before, and my level and their level, I'm like, I would say I'm half of where they're at. Half? You can then see someone go beyond your level. How, what's that worth? And play. I mean, you want to see her playing yes. in a state of mind, don't you? Yes, exactly. What state of mind is that you find so memorable? <laughs> uh, I think maybe the, the focus, the intensity, and the perfection when they execute it well. And that's what you'd like to be in. It's at that moment, because... So, so you'd be up there... Looking at it, right? Yeah. Attentive, right. right? What the hell is play? <laughs> yeah, right. that's play because it's just. So now, what play. is it? Come on. So how do you know when you? They're very like one with with, right. with their body and their movement and the ball and the way they're picturing or, or thinking where they're going to hit it and when they hit it there and it's like with perfection you know and you want and you want the person to know thoroughly what it is they're doing without stopping to think about it yeah right yeah. so you want a certain kind of knowing to be in evidence don't you fluid right Well, now, since you seem to uh, be able to recognize it, what is it you're recognizing? What is it? Oh, I think for me... Because we know everybody who's there had to break through. Right? He didn't know. We know that everyone who reached that state had to break through those barriers. Right. Where, where the music has you, you don't, you're not playing the music even, it's like you're a part of something that's just happening, mm -hmm. and... Close the door. Say, why is there a war against that at your house, Julie? Well... Somehow God didn't. What? God didn't want that. God didn't want it. Right. That's right. God's against play. <laughs> That's it. Right. Right. You're in a universe where God doesn't allow play. Yeah, the hell do you think you're doing playing? Why is he against play then? Well, he definitely. Hey, why? Why does that God? Well, how? Come on. Well, what would your father and mother and people say at home about this question? Well, why doesn't God like play? Because you're not supposed to have feelings. What? Feelings. Mm. Feelings. feelings. What the hell is she talking about? She says you're not supposed to have feelings. Wow. Does that make any sense? <laughs> nope. No, thank you. Well, you're not supposed to have good feelings. You can be angry. We are asking but, a theological question. Yeah. Why is God against play? I don't know that he really was. This was my 
one. Well, wait this. a minute, wait a minute. From your background, uh -huh. yes or no? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. There's a war going on, you know. We're all... At your Christian home, soldiers. there was a war against play because it was ungodly. Right. And you're still living in it. Yeah. Here's to faith. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Why? So it's this is all part of. Oh, <laughs> she like. Come on, this come, is on. Play for her. come on, come on. Layla, come on, come on. Sound familiar? Uh, it's fundamental Christianity. That's what they always say, you know. Right. For right. the faith, for the faith. So we hear it all the time in the whole wide world, you know. Oh, I think it's funny to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, why is it funny though? It seems sad because all these people are deprived of being playful <clears throat> and spontaneous and showing themselves. And... Yeah. I think it's funny because I don't want to be there. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a joke, huh? Because <laughs> yeah. I feel free, you know, and then they're not. And I think it's <clears throat> funny. It's stupid to be there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's tragic too though, right? Like yeah, it is, but I cannot be sad. Sad for them. And hey by the way in your home it was perfectly all right for girls to get in that state, wasn't it? Or was it not? No. Oh they don't let girls get in that state. Oh no. Right. You know what they do? <laughs> right. Boys could do it. Hey, you can't discipline them after that. Oh, oh that's terrible. Yeah. They all hey, they all get horny. They go straight to hell. Yeah. Right, or something worse. I don't know what could be worse, but <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> Say, what was it like getting into Greek? To reach a, a, a ceiling? A ceiling? Yeah, did you? Come on, you're in Greek. Sometimes. Sometimes. Hmm. <laughs> what should we ask him, Barbara? Well, we could ask him what did he do at those times. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Have you reached a, le a ceiling? I don't think so. I don't, but I don't, I don't, I don't get, I don't did get you, into What did you have to go through to reach that level that you're on? Lots of Greek classes. What? Lots of Greek classes. <laughs> Lots of studying. <laughs> Lots of looking up words. Can you point to some people who had who have mastered Greek on the level we're talking about? Is that everybody does that who studies that they reach that level and that's I, I think I'm still waiting for masters of Greek like that. Barbara, what did he just say? Mm. He hadn't met any of them. It was a no. Maybe he's, he's waiting. waiting. He's waiting. Oh, he's waiting. waiting. Oh, he's not yeah. actually becoming one. Oh, he's waiting. Yeah, yeah. He's waiting to meet one. <laughs> well, I don't know that I want to be one. Oh, I don't know whether I want to be one. Oh. I'd rather be a master of meditation. Um, Oh, you think there's a difference? <laughs> Ooh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, then, I guess you'd give up Greek if you became a master of meditation? No, no. But they're different. No, they're not. I mean... <clears throat> right? I mean, whatever you master is different depending upon what you master. Different from other masteries? Hmm... Oh, or are we talking about mastery must be excellence with play? Hmm. That's what we're doing. Julie had some other words early on, but she let them be swept away in the dialogue. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't you say mind? Was Mindfulness. That one yeah, it would be mind. It would be intelligible. I think she actually said mind as well, just mind, mind, mind and yeah. mind. self. 
And so, yeah. So, I thought that was pretty interesting language to bring into the question. I wasn't entirely sure of how to fit it in, but I liked the level. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. 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 Is it likely that you are seeing a new level of mastery in Greek? Oh, yes. Mm. What does that mean? What does that mean? You mentioned that the Well, that there's a reason why he hasn't met anybody. <laughs> yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, well... Hey, you mentioned it at the workshop. At the you workshop. Had had a, you broke through the Western... <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it pretty much means, well, what does that mean? On the negative side, that everybody I've ever known who's translated Greek before, prior to this Parmenides seminar, has been blinded by these, these cultural boundaries of some sort, both to getting mastery and to letting themselves go into the Greek itself, that they hold themselves back, that they have to find an equivalent. See, what you're raising is that in each particular arena in which people can become excellent, they have to match that particular thing with the fullest expression of that excellence in order to go beyond where they're at. Wow. Hmm. That's what you're seeing in what I'm saying. Right? Much beyond. Like, you reach a certain level of mastery, and now you realize there's a higher mastery. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, where you're going to have to allow yourself to be even more... Uh, well... Uh, playful? Wow. Um, well, you a different kind of play, see? So. What? You need to play, and you need to let go of whatever might inhibit your seeing. No. Because you have to just see the Greek, right? See, you have to see what's there. And you have to be able to, you have to be focused, you have to deal with the blocks that come up, you have to um, let go of preconceived notions. Right? I don't know exactly I, I, I may be a little closer than I was at the seminar to expressing it, but mm. it's very hard because you, op you know, just with that one word, autos, you really kind of hey. do the ceiling off Allie. of Idiot. study of Greek by pointing out that the Greeks would have a seeing of it that we would not have, <laughs> that they would bring that to it, and that it would recently yeah, huh. you put it even more strongly, which maybe was the original statement, that... Um, <laughs> That even that that it was always there. It wasn't like they made a choice in their minds and everything else dropped away. So that when they had self same and, uh, intensification, which is the other, one of the other factors, that they, you, you know what I mean? You, that it wasn't that they chose. They they were like choosing. Okay, it's this little box. It's like no, they have it there. It's part of it. And we also were seeing that they may not even see the level to which we're seeing it. They may not. They need the normal. Even a sophisticated reader of philosophy may or may not be able to articulate what is there in the in the Greek at the deepest level. Mm -hmm. hmm. What do you call that state of mind when it's fully hmm. functioning? Well, that's why I like what you said. I look like mind, but um, it's like a state of uh, you know. I think people would call it enlightenment. Because no obstacles, you know, um, a seeing state. Mm -hmm. Anytime uh, you want to jump in, Dave, we'll see. Uh, right there. Yes. One, one, one thing I would add. Somehow the idea comes up, or the notion comes to me, that you have to be willing to jump into the unknown. Yes. Mm -hmm. And allow the unknown to present itself mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and ful fulfill what it's capable yeah. of doing. Good for you. Yeah, I agree. I was thinking about my six-year-old niece. Yeah. She plays all day long <clears throat> and creates and creates and creates. And I'm sure some of it she wasn't expecting. It just has to come out and be accepted and in, in, engaged. 
and that the unknown. Now, now why, what, is it likely that that state of mind you well defined, people are afraid of getting into it. They want to protect their children from getting into it. The, the most interesting yeah. state of mind. Yeah. yeah. Because people have a fear of that unknown. They have a fear of it. Hey, come here. <laughs> what is it they fear? Play. Beauty. Lose control. <laughs> and not knowing. The state of not knowing. Not, the state of not knowing when you're faced with the unknown. Uh, that state of not knowing is very threatening. I don't know quite <laughs> why. But it wasn't when we were kids. We naturally were in it. <clears throat> we enjoyed the hell out of it. You know, Pierre, I think maybe the other word that would be good for it is, I'll leave, oh, I know that question is simmering over here, but what about the word self for that state of mind, or altos? Mm. What about altos as a description? Rather than in like, I don't know, it just seems like altos captures more the uh, significance of it or the depth of it. Uh, so much am happy with that. Are you but like, I'm thinking... Are you like saying like achieving selfhood? Yeah. As a goal? Yeah, selfhood, that's very Please. interesting. The question is whether selfhood or self would be the more pure state. What do you think? Because like goodness is more derivative. So is selfhood more derivative or selfhood take it back deeper? A more, more pure, more... So... Um, are you familiar somewhat with uh, ancient cultures? Somewhat. It's not bothering. Uh, why did the Greeks elevate play to the Olympics? Hmm. Right. Well, maybe because it is this highest form? They, right, wherever they went, they <coughs> built a coliseum in order to play. They wanted to see excellence. Mm. For the games, yes, okay. Right. Primarily, They're crazy. Primarily in a sacred precinct. Right. They're crazy people. And David added something. Uh, primarily in a sacred precinct. In a, in a sacred precinct in a divine, therefore, sacred precinct in the temple area? So in the temple area. So it was... The so play is consecrated to the gods. Yes. Right. Is that right? Yes. Wait a minute. That's higher than prayer. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the Chinese say prayer when they really mean player. <laughs> what? She's playing. She's playing. <laughs> on the RL problem. The RL problem. <laughs> Play nice. So, it, it's, a, it's a spiritual act, not a, not a religious act, but it's a spiritual act. Mm -hmm. oh, he misses his call. That's consecrated to the gods. Yes. What? Any, any of you guys ever read the uh, Hans Huizinga Homo Ludens. A little bit. Yeah. Huh? A little bit? A little. When did you pull out of it? A little bit. I'll I've tried to get into that many times. <laughs> and what pulls you out of it? Boy. <laughs> 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 I mean, I would love <laughs> to get into that book. Huh? I, I, yeah. What? I really have a resistance to playing. Or getting into understanding it. Play. Yeah. And playing consciously and intelligibly and Right? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. You don't know? Look here. Hey, Jeff. Do you think do you think that it would be a good idea? to encourage Julie to become an expert on homo ludens. I, I can't think of any better project right now. <laughs> right? Might I mean, help the book. Well, what do you think? Do you think that's fair? Oh, oh yeah. sure. Yeah. Huh? 
Okay, if I study it, I'm going to give Jeff a copy too. He has to read it too. You have to study what? Wait, what do you have to read? Read the book. No, I'm talking about the book you're going to write. Oh, I'm talking Doing, about oh, the, the Homo Yeah. All right, I'll do it with you. I'll try. Because it's important. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll do it together. Okay. Are you going to master it? Did you notice how you move your shoulders when yeah. you say yes? Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't believe a word I say from here on. <laughs> Do you want to be protected against that? I mean, yeah. No, you don't want to go into that. No. Why not? You. Oh, against the shrugging or the play? For either one. Hmm. Terrible day. What would it mean if you could master that one book? I'll tell you, if I mastered that one book, I could probably teach a class in it. That would, that would be fun. Wow. Wow. Right? How exciting. Yeah. Would it be more than that? Time is right. Bringing you the excellence. Yeah. A class in play. How play. cool is yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> then you could play on a higher level. Yep. Right. Than you're doing with empirical psychology. Yeah. And then you'll be doing fullest, fullest expression. Right. I'd be a professional player or teacher player. You'd change. It would be good, yeah. You'd change. Yeah. In the way you want. Yeah. But you're not going to do it. Uh, probably not. Because you don't, <laughs> you don't want to be it. I'll probably. Want to be stay stay at home within the family confines and stay cool with God. Right, right. Yeah. Mm. Because God doesn't allow play. Right. You're still a Christian. Yeah. But with Jeff's help. <laughs> Jeff's help. <laughs> uh -uh. No help. <laughs> None of this help business. Okay, so I'm just getting into this curious thing you guys have been studying for years now called um, the Parmenides. <coughs> any any uh, play in the, what would that be, the second? Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, answer. Um, she, can, she will, but second I prefer not yeah. to her. Uh, could you answer, Jeff? Any play in the second? <laughs> Do they even use? The, what's the word for play in Greek? Pydane. Does it show up? <laughs> I did. It's children, right? Yeah, it's children. Does it show up anywhere in the. No, no, no. Yeah, it's connected with the word child. Yeah, Pydane. But Paideia is not as... No, I said Paidane. Oh. Paidane. Paidane uh, is right. right. Does, does that root show up anywhere in the dialogue? Anyway, you you mean connected little... with the word play? Like being yeah. playful? Yeah. Uh, engaged in a game? Yeah. I don't know where, but I've seen it. You just do a search. Paidea yeah. is the word used for the, the, um, the allegory of the cave. It's called, it's called a Paidea, right? And that comes from the same root of child, although mm -hmm. it's often translated education, although um, Rouse, I think, caught it because its goal is enlightenment. He called it something along that line, enlightenment and non-enlightenment, as opposed to education and non-education, as opposed to what we're saying might be related to the word play, right? Mm -hmm. Rouse did education, Jowett did enlightenment. I can't remember where the quote is, but... Uh, Socrates is making some Put joke or something like that. Hand. For sure. Okay. <coughs> is this That may be interesting. Look what David. I was has. thinking mm -hmm. that the book. Yeah. No, book four, seven. If you, the idea of, of Parmenides, where he says that um, he's in Ibicus, he's liking himself to a horse an older horse that's going before uh, another race. 
And I'm thinking that if there's any place, that would be where the idea of, of play would take over or be represented, because that's what he's in, going into. He would have to go into that kind of a state hmm. if there's any play or representation of play to compete or manifestation oh, of play. Nobody to see that. That's question I'm answering. Yeah. Um, I don't care. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. Okay. Did, did you hear, hear that? Did you have to, no. yeah. She's just making some private point that has no relevance, <laughs> just a private point, so oh, we can sorry. ignore it. What was the private point? In the Parmenides, when he talks about Ibicus, I don't have the exact language, but he talks about it as starting to enter into a competition uh, again at, at such an elderly age, and if the way we're talking, Whoops. it would be liking himself to enter the Olympics again, and that would be a represent that would be a representation of play on the highest level, and we could it, we could consider that as an an idea as a an example uh, or if there's anything in the Parmenides that would be able to capture that idea that's what it seems like that would be the most ideal place to look and therefore and therefore what is what happens after that is play that would be an example of the uh, 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 representation of Parmenides playing at the highest in the, level on the highest level of excellence in in terms in terms of philosophy and ideas. Hear that? They didn't hear it. It's okay. Forget it. <laughs> please, please. Yeah. Uh, did you hear that? One more time. No. Oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm sick. You don't, have to, oh. you, you don't have to repeat it. Just shout next time. <laughs> I, I'd like to hear it. Go ahead, Gina. Don't, uh, don't listen to him. <laughs> in the Parmenides, at the point of Ibicus, when he talks about entering a race, he's talking about competition. And this would be like an Olympian competition at the highest level. And he is entering it, even at an older age. And interestingly, at an older age, he hasn't... That means that age has that playing has no age limit, but that entering it and seeing that what's going to follow and the and the what he is being asked to do is to play, and he goes ahead and proceeds, and what follows we can consider to be play in the highest level on the most uh, regarding metaphysical ideas in the most excellent way. So you're saying that it's frightening. It's what? It's frightening. It's frightening? That, that is it. That is it. I don't know. I would check the Greek in that section very carefully and see if it can be perceived to be seen as, as entering yeah, something in a place. Actually, didn't say it was frightening. That was you. And there is a text, there is a well, emotional state being yeah. brought up, but the thing is that Trembling with fear. Yeah, he's approaching right. his, something that he loves. Right. That's yeah. the poem. And that's the so other. You've got to put that in as well if you're going to put the he's afraid part in. And another part of, of play is something mm -hmm. you love. You love. And, extempor and spontaneous. He wasn't asked to do it. I mean, he didn't practice this to come in and do this, but he was asked, he was asked to do it and it was performed spontaneously. Which is what I see Pierre do every Friday night, hmm. every midwifery, and I mean he takes at the moment where your state of mind is, and he plays. There's nothing that, I mean he has all the principles, he just manifests. Well, he should be an expert then. No, could you, uh, yeah, he should be an expert then. Do you want to see it? No. Could you relate that? Stuff to uh, what kind of a guy was he? Parmenides. Yeah, what's a Parmen? What? Parmenides. Parmenides. Yeah. Well, kind of a guy. Oh, oh answer that question. He's a philosopher. A what? A philosopher. Oh. Uh, exemplar. Exemplar. Oh, and what was his practice? 
that he's trying to urge Socrates to learn. To, to learn the dialectic? Oh, you mean that you have to learn that as play? As play, right. Oh. oh okay. Uh, yeah, as play. By the way, the Greek in the section that Regina is talking about specifically uses those words. I was wrong. It's not Pydane, it's Pysdane with this data. And it's right there. That's why I gave it. Oh, that, did you? Mm -hmm. Pysdane. Or since you are determined that I must engage in a laborious pastime. What's translated as laborious pastime there is a, is a pragmatic, playing at a pragmatic paideia, which is a game. Wow. <clears throat> Holy crap. That's quite a difference. I didn't even know it was there. It was somewhere. So he's having fun. Yep. A pragmato a day pastime. A pi day. A pragmato a day pastime. Oh, a, That's what oh. Call it. which means? Well, it's translated as laborious. We get pragmatic from it. Ah. Um, I'm not Ready. sure what the best translation is here. It's a busy, uh, something that. Pragmatic. Well, something. It's one of the major, right, the, the root family of pragma has action in it, right? It, that you're getting something done. Doing. Yeah. A doing. Yeah. Often mm. busy. It's often busy. That seems to get closer to it, doesn't it? An Olympic. It's not laborious. He's introdu he's entering play on the highest level. So he's going through the hypothesis playfully. Yes. That looks like play. And that's a pretty high kind of play. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Pretty high, the highest. Well, you do it, Seth. You do it, Pierre. We watch you Friday doing dream analysis, having seminars. You don't know where it's going to go. Thank but you goodness. have a set of principles that you rely on, and you have fun in it. Last night. See, maybe you didn't notice, Gina, but it's not just Pierre having fun there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, I thank you. Touche! See, if I didn't find it fun, I wouldn't come anymore. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Oh. Even the audience could have fun. That's right. Especially the audience. Yep, that's true. <laughs> Thank you. Julie, what are you going to do your dream? Oh, that dream. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot. I mean, unfortunately, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Shall, Both of Shall them. we find what David has wow. found in the book? Uh, yeah. What are you being found? He's got the book. He's got the home allusions. <gasps> it looks small. Yeah, I'm looking for the passage on the Parmenides. Which the passage uh, in home allusions? The problem is that he's, his scholarship allows him to find every example of play without really seeing it, well, without seeing it philosophically. So uh, he, uh, he points primarily to the sophist as the example of a person who plays. And that's... Uh, Playful. Then he, he needs another chapter, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so play becomes... Uh, to some degree, in the chapter on play forms and philosophy, sort of an intellectual sleight of hand. Mm. And, and it, it's, uh, so he does say some good things. Uh, let me see where the primary disease was. If I, I'll, I'll interrupt, but if I'm... Uh, is he missing the second part of the sophist, or what? What part is he missing here? What chapter? He has, he has no place for philosophy. Uh, yeah, well, he does. I don't think he understands philosophy. No, he, he, and so he's done his best to, to do a cultural and, and uh, <coughs> linguistic and yeah. word study through many, many different yeah. religious and ancient texts to figure out what play is uh -huh. without ever really having played. Play. I don't know. Um, so, like, he doesn't even have a concluding chapter. Yeah. He's kind of a bitch. Um, so he just needs a, uh, well, why don't you fill in the last chapter for him, David? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Why don't I fill in the last Shit. one? Well, Julie, yeah. Julie could do it. Yeah, that's my job. Yeah. Right. <laughs> be playful. <laughs> yeah, Let us pray. I mean, not play. Bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad <laughs> Yoga. Not a bad yoga. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Mm. Damn it. I'm still not sure we answered your question about what is that state of what 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 name do you put on that state of mind that highest state of mind we were describing when we get into translation the new way of translating or any so what word would you put on it here? Uh, 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 it's it's an access into the divine. <laughs> Apart from that, it's not. <laughs> hmm. uh, did somebody Interesting. Uh, recursively. Yeah, I was wondering about Usia. In entering into a higher state of mind yeah. with freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that okay. Recognize the inherent integrity in the moment and can rely upon it. Really. Rely upon it truly? You can rely upon it with freedom. Freedom. Freely. 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 And even forget it. How great. Ah. Is there something higher than that? Um... Well, Not that I know of. She's always going higher. Mm-hmm. Well, sometimes Pierre has states beyond the divine. That may yes. be surprising to you, but he mm-hmm. does. And things up his sleeve. And well, Barbie? No. the higher would be reaching it. <laughs> reaching. I got one of those. Oh. Um. <laughs> if there is a, if there is a way to something, that is. We're calling it divine or most mindful. Mm-hmm. Well, what would be the ultimate expression of it would be another state. Hmm. Wow. This like the divine you can go in and out of is yeah. no divine at all? Yeah. Very. Let me just... Uh, While you're looking, as you're talking about the fact that it's going in the direction, or it's, what did he say in terms of the divine, that you are entering the divine? I always like to get that part, too. (laughs) Is that what he said, Barb? Attaining it, I think. Attaining the divine. Like you're going to it, going to it, then. So that would... Well, that's interesting, because then the Parmenides <laughs> is taking what the goddess has said, and he's places attaining it, getting into it, expanding upon it. Wow. I don't, whatever words you want. Just a, that's what he's doing in that dialogue. Fifty years. Uh, yeah, one line about how Parmenides is able to take Socrates this direction, and then that direction, and then this direction, showing that he's able to do the kind of playful arguments that you see in tragedy and comedy, and the playful arguments you see in sophistry. And at one point he concludes, therefore, Socrates and Plato, we shouldn't be surprised if we see them reckoned among jugglers and magicians. A paraphrase, to say the least, but um, that's kind of how he goes. Because Socrates was a son, oh, a student, of, and Plato was a student of Saffron, Saffron Sophron was a student of, of mine, or Harry. And so, therefore, Plato is now doing mine and parody. Uh. Oh, dear. 
So without having any insight at all, he comes to some grand conclusions. Wow. Stand with us. <laughs> but, but still, it's probably an interesting study, and you can draw your own conclusions. Yeah, I'm into it. Warm. It's always down when <laughs> when you get to be 65. <laughs> That's what I was trying to keep it private, bro. Ask any woman, she'll tell you. I was just wondering, is that the age? I was trying to be discreet. <laughs> he let the Put it on Dave. <laughs> Ah, the truth is, the truth is. And in, in Sweden, you have to have a master's <laughs> plan to teach preschool. So they see it as some inherent in education. Where, Alec? You have to have a master's plan. Oh, you can get a master's plan yeah, in Sweden. Yeah, yeah. Pierre pointed out a paragraph in here. Oh, really? Go ahead, read it. Read it, read it. Really? Read it. You're welcome to come in anyway if I'm not borrowing any of Should I read it? While he's gone, or should yes. I wait till he gets back? No, why he's gone. Oh, he picked it out. While he's gone is okay. Maybe he'll read okay. It. We can sketch the successive stages of philosophy roughly as follows. It starts in the remote past from the sacred riddle game, which is at one and the same time ritual and festival entertainment. On the religious side, it gives rise to the profound philosophy and theosophy of the Upanishads to the intuitive flashes of the pre-Socratics. On the play side, it produces the sophist. The two sides are not absolutely distinct. Plato raises philosophy as the search for truth to heights which he alone could reach, but always in that aerial form which was and is philosophy's proper element. Simultaneously, it develops at a lower level into sophistical quackery and intellectual smartness. <clears throat> the, agonist, the agonistic factor in Greece was so strong that it allowed rhetoric to expand at the cost of pure philosophy, which was put in the shade by sophistication parading as the culture of the common man. Would you read that again? The agonistic factor was so... The agonistic factor in Greece was so strong that it allowed rhetoric to expand at the cost of pure philosophy. And you, you know what agonistic wow. means? Mm -hmm. Again, you know what agonistic means? Yeah. Not, no, not, not knowing. Not revealing. It comes from agon, which means battle or combat. So agonistic means that it partakes of contentiousness. Against. Yeah, that's part of the word antagonist. <clears throat> the agonistic factor in Greece was so strong that it allowed rhetoric to expand at the cost of pure philosophy, which was put in the shade by sophistication parading as the culture of the common man. Yeah. Gorgias was typical of this deterioration of culture. He turned away from true philosophy to waste his spirit in the praise and misuse of glittering words and false wit. Wow. After Aristotle, the level of philosophic thinking sank. sank. Emulation carried to extremes <laughs> and narrow doctrinarism won the day. A similar declension was to repeat itself in the later Middle Ages, when the age of the great scholastics who sought to understand the innermost meaning of things was followed by one in which words and formulae alone sufficed. That was one paragraph. Uh, he, he points to a decline in the way of thinking, but he doesn't point to the paradigm from which that decline progressed. He's, he's holding back. He's, he's he holding sees back, something yeah. he's not putting in there about philosophy. He's not being playful. Well, he understands that there's an elegance to philosophy that was undermined, and continually undermined, and he goes for studying the undermination of that. Well, he does say that the religious under, side of philosophy gives rise to the profound philosophy and theosophy of the Upanishads. So he just he doesn't even include Say that again. The Parmenides. Would you read that again? <laughs> on the okay. 
We could sketch the successive stages of philosophy roughly as follows. It starts in the remote past from the sacred riddle game, which is at one and the same time ritual and festival entertainment. On the religious side, it gives rise to the profound philosophy and theosophy of the Upanishads, to the intuitive flashes of the pre-Socratics. On the play side, it produces the sophists. So he doesn't even have spiritual, he's got religious and play. He misses, so, he misses uh, the mark. Uh, uh, <laughs> would you not agree? It looks like our colleague could add another chapter. Yeah, yeah. really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On sin and missing the mark. Right? <laughs> no. I was hoping he'd go in the other direction. I, oh, yeah, other right. Right. No, Huizinga's sin. <laughs> right. Mind and Usia bringing a hyparxis of joy. Right. Wow. wow. Another great bumper like sticker. Let's think of this. Talk about gold and its uses, but rather than what it is itself. The mind and the Lucia bringing the third scripture of joy. What's that, J- John? Oh, and hey, hey. Thing that, what, what you said, like, left out the beauty of it. Talked about the other side of it. Hmm. Well, the book Homo Ludens is one of the few works informed about the problem of man. Martin Buber. Wow. Right? So this is the this was way up there and you guys are finding its shortcomings. I'm yeah. surprised I'm not gonna be around here any I'm gonna leave out of fear of that. Yeah. This is heresy. Our insight. <laughs> <laughs> well, even the title, right? A study of the play element in culture. Yeah. Well, what about the play in the mind? Right. Than in culture? So look at, oh, oh. <laughs> another point. book is being brought into existence. Go ahead. Well, right. culture is only so interesting. Mind in play. It's a very long, long pants. <laughs> Maybe it just shows how hard it is to really express it. <laughs> You know, like that. This is one of the top expressions of the study of him bringing the problem man to mind's eye, but we still haven't found a way of expressing it even beyond that. He's got a good chapter on play as tragedy, the tragedies, <coughs> and uh, that's that's good too. She has a good book. Good book. She has. It was, places where he shoots wide of the mark. It was very, it was very profound at the time. Yeah. But now, like in Southern California, people see through its shallow nature. <laughs> in very, in pockets right. of comprehension. That's Southern California, a land of fruits and nuts. Right. <laughs> yeah. that right. That's what they say. And they have these strange Olympic games. I once gave a talk, I forget where it was, excuse me, but I had a guy get up <clears throat> and uh, say, I have to apologize for my remarks about Pierre Grimes. And he said, after all, he did come from Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> Which justifies right? everything I mean, he says. That that's, that's low down. Low. We are low down on the scale of human achievements. <laughs> so he has gone as high as such a I've often declamated against Pierre. Really? He opened up his speech small. on that basis. <laughs> they said that to me in Arkansas. They said, did you do Where anything wrong? And I yeah. said, no. Oh, you're from California anyway. You don't. No, 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 right? <laughs> They're like, you, you know, no wonder you don't see. I'm like, no, I didn't do anything. You're California. Uh, no wonder you're from California. No. I'm like, you don't. What, Californians never do anything wrong? Or well, what? they told me I was a terrible person, but yeah. I wouldn't accept it. I said, uh, I yeah. didn't follow your laws. That's true, but I didn't do anything wrong. What are you talking about? Mm. They, they did not like that answer. You're a right? new species. They yeah. said their reply to that was, California. you're from California. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Huntington Beach is even worse. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, locations um, and goals, uh, I believe our friend Robert is 
had set himself a long time goal of saving up and going to elsewhere. I'm not really What's decided. the name of that place? London? Yeah. Yeah, there. Elsewhere. London. And I was wondering if there was any there. play yeah, in play involved in that for you and what mm. did you notice any thoughts come up for you uh, of a personal or philosophic nature while you were Well, I mean You Our achieved camp, it, right? You got there. I got there. I was with a whole group of students, and uh, I mean, long time plan. We kind of when realized that they were. Yeah, he just got back. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, last Monday I just landed. But uh, yeah, it was interesting. I mean, not a whole lot came up, but uh, as far as far as philosophy, one thing that did come come up was like how other people are deluded, and uh, or I'm deluded too. And, like we're all deluded. And it's like. Most people don't seem to really realize what a delusion does to you, or what it, like how it literally takes hold of the mind. And why, and then on top of that, people, that's why probably people talk crap on each other all the time. All this stupid drama occurs, and really it's just a bunch of delusions that are making people do dumb fucking shit. That, and this is really just part of being human, so. I mean, that, but that can't happen towards like the end of my trip. I realized this, and then yeah, that I sort of under, was realizing this as, as I went on a long walk. That was something that I came to. But uh, were you seeing some of the delusions that Americans are in while you were in, or was it UK? was it the English? It wasn't anything all, all English. The above. It was just <laughs> human, <Humans, laughs> like. Two people, like we all went out to a park, got drunk, some people did stupid stuff, and people were making fun of it. And I'm just, just thinking, this is part of being human. We're all deluded and do really fucking dumb things. Let's just. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know if that's really. So let's just what? No. Well, I don't want to reveal any names. So I thought so you take a picture. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. how did you resolve to transcend this issue? How do I resolve to transcend the issue of, of how everybody's all fucked up and nobody's helping each other? Well, I mean. Or did you yet? Or have you yet? I, or may I present that question to you? I haven't, but I mean, Which one do you I guess the best I could do is try and overcome my own delusions mm -hmm. and then maybe try to help other people after that. I mean, that's all I can do is just overcome my own delusions first because really could you, I'm could as you, stupid as everybody else right now. I've never tried it, but do you think by <laughs> overcoming, helping other people overcome their delusions, you might get insights for oh. yourself so that you don't have to wait? Because we don't have any time left. Um, okay. Well, or how, how do you overcome yours? Midwifery. So you want me to be a midwife? Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Go Dave. Well, no way. <laughs> and pretending no Pierre has already left the room. So uh, I, can, I can pontificate. <laughs> what were you there for? I know you've been planning this trip for so long. That would did it work out for you in terms of how you saw it before going there? Well, I really didn't have a lot of expectation before going, but uh, I mean, well, yeah, I went there really just to get out of the country and see a different place, just to try and try something new. You know, because I was getting frustrated living in my own little box for too long. You know. Uh, but why not uh, Zimbabwe yeah. or uh, Zaire or Tibet, Thailand? Or yeah, why? I've just always been interested in Europe. What about it interested you? I don't know, it's just it's always interesting. So you went to London? Yeah. <laughs> I did that once. So what would you conclude? You get out of your box, and when you got there, you discovered okay. that you What would you conclude? And you got, well, I sort of saw it for myself. Oh. It didn't give you much. <laughs> like, yeah. even leaving and going to Europe wouldn't get you away from human Sorry, nation. I interrupted. Well, as long as they're around a human being, all humans are deluded in a lot of ways. I mean, how do you come to know? You're always well, That's you're why you're always a lot of for your yeah. delusion. So he's using that <laughs> word a lot. Well, <laughs> yeah, he's using I that see. word a lot. What would you consider? the art of philosophical and wifery where we... Do you know what the root of delusion is? What's that? Will to be, to be led away by a kind of play, false play. It's false belief, yeah. False play. False play. False play. Is play yeah, interesting. Laughing. 
Oh, so delusion okay. is to be uh, like illusion, um, a prelude, uh, pre-play, illusion, illusion, uh, not not uh, substituting um, through play. Well, illusion, playing at something. I would like to add. I know something of this gentleman's itinerary. Uh huh. And that is that. Um, you may not know, but I, if I have any audios, I send them to Yanni. Yanni puts them on the web. And now Jeff is doing that. Similar thing. And in any case, I don't watch it. I get them back from Yanni. I send them out. I don't keep track. You know? It's like, I send them out. I get them back. I send them out. I don't count. Like, oh, this one came back. Oh, this one came back. I don't have a... Right? So this gentleman emails me from London and says... I might have diluted it, deleted it, or diluted, diluted it, it, but I don't have these two tapes. Well, right? there was one particular... Uh, and, well, the thing, so let me finish, and then you can jump in and okay, correct it, right? <laughs> which is that, so, and in fact, he had, we had sent out one of the two, but the other one we had not, and no one else noticed. Mm -hmm. And this, we're talking mm -hmm. probably a month after, I don't know, add to the story if you would. Well, I so therefore, he was following very tightly this itinerary of talk. Uh -huh. Actually, yes. Um, uh, what, what would you? Uh, you're just stockpiling them. You're not actually listening. Yeah, that is what. Oh. Uh, hang yeah. on. Yeah, hang Jeff, on. do you want to add to that? No, he's got something. Okay. Well, I just wanted to say what happened. I think you accidentally also emailed me the wrong week. Of the <laughs> and you never got back to me. <laughs> well, I was, shame I was, on you. I was distracted yep. by being in Europe. I was wandering around. Oh uh, no, excuses. You sent me at the date range. I thought I sent you the only ones that were. It was the only exactly one on Saturday of the twentieth. And what happened was, I remember, I like a day or two before. Oh, Jesus God. Okay. I was watching Saturday, <laughs> a Saturday morning, in which Pierre and Nibuya were in a talk, and Nibuya was talking about being in the middle of some kind of work. And then suddenly he comes to some discovery, and we're in previous works. All of a sudden he becomes tired and decides to go to bed right after a big break in his work or something like that. Whereas it would be better just to continue working. Like there's always some kind of. But anyways, I, I wanted to listen to that. I didn't get to listen to the whole tape because I thought it would be important, so I wanted to listen to it. And uh, I only was able to listen to like five minutes, but I wanted to listen to the whole thing because I thought it. But, uh, when I got to London, I couldn't find the email, so I emailed you, and then uh, I think you sent me the wrong one, I'm like, oh, whatever. And Are you saying you strange? went to London to listen to the Saturday and <laughs> Friday morning talks? <laughs> no. Is, that's what, is that what you're saying? Just one of them in particular. No, Did you just listen no. to one? That's yeah. not what he said. In other words, you didn't hear others. No, I didn't. Just that one. It, I just happened to have spontaneously started listening to one of them while I was going through my email before going. Oh, before? Yeah. And then uh, I landed, and uh, I was there for a couple of days, and I was had nothing to do for you know a few hours, and I wanted to listen to this one video, but it wasn't there. So I emailed Barbara, but uh, I mean... Look I didn't for get back when she emailed me along. I have a video. I think it was. And then, uh, oh, it's an interesting. Well, interesting. I went he's so weird, Pierre. He's over there in England, and he's taking an interest in what's blocking Nobuya from getting into a certain <laughs> state of mind. I, I mean, well, I'm not and, sure if I'd have a beer with that guy. And the nature of the human, <laughs> <laughs> the, the nature no, of the yeah. human condition, and why well, people are not you happy. Hmm? I'm, I'm little, what would I add? Is well, that what would I well, you know, we did like, by this find a tape, or? by the way. We, uh, you gave me a date range in my memory. Oh, I'm and sorry. I, you did, in fact, I did, in fact, send you one within that range, and I asked that another one that had not been published be published and then sent to you. So that's my memory. There <laughs> All were right, two I'm of sorry. them. <laughs> but that, and from that point on, you got the wrong food, one. Not you? nine minutes. Oh, you. Very if I don't know about it. Well, I'll look at <laughs> no, I thought it was a good thing, Robert, that you take an interest in well, what, what blocks people from getting into a state of mind they'd like to be in. As remember he said, that, he wants uh, to help people from being deluded. Remember, right? Ingrid, remember, remember that, uh, remember that uh, uh, himself, I'm imagining. Remember, yeah, there was something with myself. Remember when I told you about my problem with my, like, how I have a hard time, like, focusing on a textbook? Remember when I told you about that whole thing? You know, about... Because like it's like I have a similar problem except I can't go as far as Nibuya, but I have a similar problem where I can't even read past like a whole paragraph of the text before I just start like 
rereading and rereading because I can't understand what I'm reading, though it's really simple. It's not that hard to understand some sentences. Yet. I still can't understand. And uh, I think it's... I, you should tell Pierre about that. I'm experiencing a similar state of mind that Nibuya is, is except I'm blocked at a much lower level than what... I mean, Nibuya is obviously, like, way advanced, but... Like, you know what you can do? What's that? All right, you're gonna you're gonna get your little book down, and whatever you're reading, you're gonna read it. And whenever something comes up, whatever it is, you're gonna write that down. And I bet you, in about five minutes, you're gonna have like ten things. You, I doubt you even make it past two sentences by the time you have like ten different things. You write down your fantasies and such, and Thoughts, whatever names, seemingly random thoughts that come up, and okay. you bring it to this group, and you're at a good spot. Self start. images. All right. All right. And if you get a dream to go along with it, that wouldn't be bad. Either. <laughs> okay. But I mean, just the stuff that comes up. Up, fun. right up front, right. <laughs> so welcome back to Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> the land of Dutch. Yeah. I want to go back to Europe. Oh. 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 Hey, yeah, I'm been... not insulting anybody. I'm not. Tr- I mean, I want to go and. Read You're not them. insulting us. If that's the only way you can get into the park. Saturday talks. Biology. Travel. Biology. <laughs> Every bed and breakfast in Ireland would be nice. Yeah. Sounds well, an expensive way to get into that. It book. does. It does. <laughs> but yeah. I just I just gave up a trip to Ireland for that same reason. Hmm. I'm, I'm so done not being around. It's nice to be here. Wow. Mm. Yeah. We have great yeah. weather. Thanks for having us, Dave. Oh. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Thank you. I'm off. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Fun? Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you. And you didn't bring your dream. Oh, thank you. Uh, hey, Jeff. Hey, Joe, get those collars there. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jeff, a good one. Yeah. Good.